Hello, this is Landon from Design Visionaries, and in this video I'd like to show you the new uh, distance constraint in NX11 that has the limit capability. Uh, so what I have here is a model, it's just a Dell and two end pieces and a little block that can slide back and forth. Um, let me go ahead and take this off to so just show you how this works. So what I want to do is I want to be able to slide this block back and forth, but I don't want it to slide off the rail. Um, before, when you use a distance command, you can slide the distance command as far as you want, and it would go past you know the, the model, and it would come right off the, the bar. And uh, maybe you wanted to be able to slide this so that it would automatically stop when it hits the end of these. Um, now you can do that with a new distance command. Uh, if I go to assembly constraints and I choose the distance constraint and I'm going to choose a distance between uh, let's do the this face and this face um, as you can see it gives me the distance like it normally would um, so I could set that all the way down to zero if I wanted uh, but you'll notice here there's this little drop down box that says distance limits now I can set the upper and lower limits of the distance command so that it can't go beyond that point when you move it around. Uh, so before I add this, choose yes, uh, I need to know the distance between this face and this face over here. So let's just find out what that is real quick. I'll do a simple distance between here and here. It's uh, 275. And if I'm not mistaken, I believe this block here is 30 wide. Let's see. This block is 30, yes. So 275 minus 30 would be 245, if I'm not mistaken. So we're going to go ahead and add that distance. So we'll go assembly constraints, add the distance between, oops, this face and this face and set my distance limits. Now, one thing I have noticed when you set a lower limit, if you set it to zero only, um, for some reason on some maintenance, I, they may have fixed this in a future release. Yeah, it looks like they did fix it. Uh, it may work differently in your case, but uh, in my experience, I have set the lower limit to zero and doesn't work. If it if that happens, you can get away with setting it to something like 0 0.0001. And basically what that'll do is it will register that there's an actual number there. Um, but in this case, it seems that uh, that issue was resolved. Um, but in case it's not working for you, that's a workaround. Um, so as you can see, I've set it to zero and I can't go past zero anymore. But I can still continue to go this way. So I don't want it to go uh, beyond this side. So I need to check upper limit on. And I believe 245 was the total distance that we can travel. So if I push it, you'll see that it hits the end here. And I can no longer go beyond the value of this upper limit. Again, this is Landon Ritchie from Design Visionaries. And this was the distance constraint with limits. Thank you.